obviously we have the new Welsh captain, Adam Ramsey, if I didn't introduce you, sorry. And, <laughs> you all know who he is, but uh, obviously <laughs> the new Welsh captain, Adam Ramsey. Uh, get out. Uh, I was going to say congratulations, but congratulations again. Uh, not the first time you've done it. If any of us look back, you did it as a very, very young man, very young player. But um, how easy slash how difficult to accept the role as being captain of the national team? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's been a, a long time since you know I last had it, and a lot's changed in that period of time. So no, I feel like you know I'm ready for it now. Um, I've learned a lot over the years. You know, I was 20 years old when I last had it, so of course, you know, it's a very unusual experience at the time. One that I would be forever grateful for from Gary, but yeah. Um, but now I feel like I'm ready for this. You know, it's a really proud moment for me and my family, and um, you know, hopefully, it could be a very successful time for us. Aaron, did you consider? Retirement after the World Cup, whether that be international retirement or retirement full stop from football. The World Cup, as you said, I think you it's taken its toll. Um, and how crucial for Wales is it that you continue, given there have been a number of high profile retirements, the man you were taking over for, Gareth Bale, being sort of chief among them? Yeah, I think it was a very difficult time uh, after the World Cup. I think, obviously, we did so well to, to finally get to. The finals and and to experience that, but you know, it was a very sort of strange um, World Cup, and I think a lot of things naturally went through your mind afterwards. And um, <clears throat> but you know, a few a bit of time, a few weeks to to digest it all, and you're ready to go again. So <clears throat> you know, I've come back and I'm um, a club level now. We've been doing really well, and. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying my football and I'm playing well. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. Um, and, yeah, of course, the players, you know, Gareth, Joe, uh, Johnny, uh, Guns, you know, they've been instrumental for us over the years um, and will forever be part of Welsh history. And, um, yeah, so, you know, football's forever changing and there'll be opportunities now for these younger players to, to step up and, and to show what they're capable of and um, to create an, a bit of history of their own. So, yeah, we're excited. Um, but obviously, yeah, we'll be, Joe Allen as well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll miss all of them, them players around the place. Last week when Rob Page announced the squad for the Croatia and Latvia games, talking about you, obviously, he says, I want him to play for as long as he possibly can. He said that with, the fact that he admires you as a player, but with passion as well for you know you, your, your, the, the contribution that you can give going forward for Wales. Um, how important is it that you do play for as long as possible for Wales, given you mentioned just in that previous answer, the environment you're playing, and I presume living in, in Nice as well. And can you just maybe sort of describe that environment and how that impacts on Wales? And also, um, your owner is quite a well-known man in the newspapers at the moment, Sir Jim, Rad Sir Jim Radcliffe, hands-on owner. Yeah, I think, um, you know, like I said, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. Um, things have, you know, we had a little change after the World Cup with the management and things like that. And to be fair, they've hit the ground running and, and settled in really well. So the players have responded well to, to their instructions. And um, yeah, we're, we're unbeaten since, uh, since I've returned. So yeah, it's been quite nice, really enjoyable. Um, obviously, it's not. There's, there's worse places in the world you could be to uh, to be um, to be playing. So, of course, um, yeah, the owner is um, very passionate and, and very invested in Denise and wants to uh, you know take Nice all the way up to the top. So, um, it's a great project to be to be a part of. Um, and yeah, it just feels like that family orientated club. Got it. Hi Aaron, can you can you tell us a bit about how you felt after the World Cup? How how difficult it was to get through that spell? Yeah, I think like I said, is uh, it was it was disappointing. Obviously, you have a big build up going into it. You know, the first time in how many years it was. So um, yeah, you you want to go there um, and show what you're capable of doing, but 
we we didn't quite get to the level that you know we were used to for whatever reasons they were but um so yeah it was a big disappointment for us um that we didn't have the opportunity to to show what we were were capable of on on, on the biggest stage but we learned a lot from that and that will put us in in good place for future tournaments and and qualifying for future you know world cups so um yeah this squad is is very uh very exciting now to be a part of and uh, and hopefully we can we can hit the ground running straight away here how did you react when when the four players you heard the news that each of them was was retiring from from Wales GT and how hard will they be to replace yeah of course <clears throat> they they you know they've been amazing for Wales over the years um, and have contributed so much to to uh, you know the success that we've had in recent years so We'll be forever grateful for for what they've brought to the for you know to this team to this nation, um, but you know things are always always changing and there's opportunities now for for other players. But like I said, it, you know there's uh, some big players uh, who have retired there and um, and yeah, but there's so much to look forward to as well. And um, yeah, hopefully now we can create our own history. Yeah, I mean, I guess you wouldn't have stuck around if you didn't think major championships could could be around the corner. Further major championship appearances for this young squad. Yeah, of course. You know, even though we are a young squad, there's a lot of young players on you know on a high number of caps already. So um, the majority of the team is uh, you know is is remained intact. But um, you know, we are missing them players. Um, but you know, there's so much excitement um, with with some of the players that are playing at the highest level at the moment, and can definitely you know um, make their own history with this team. And you know, this uh, it's, it's very exciting to be a part of this team, and so much um, uh, opportunity for us. Yeah, Matthew. Um, um, suggesting there that perhaps the captaincy came a bit early for you last time round. Just curious what you've sort of learned in the intervening period that makes you feel ready for it this time. Yeah, of course. You know, I was I'm 20 years old there, and um, I didn't quite understand, um, you know, what was going on really. But um, at the time, uh, Gary believed in me that this was the right thing to do for me to grow into that role and and learn as I as I went along, sort of thing. So, you know, I'll, I'll be forever grateful for that. But um, now, you know, so much has changed uh, in my personal life, in, in my career. I've experienced so many different things. So, of course, that's going to help me. Um, I've played under some great captains as well, um, including, you know, Ashley Williams, Gareth Bale. So there's bits that you take from um, a lot of these captains over the years and, um, and trying to, you know, add them to your, to your game, to your captaincy now. The squad is clearly going through something of a transition at the moment. How difficult is it to go through that period, but also be successful at the same time? Because obviously, there's, there's a qualifying. Campaign. Yeah, I think, like I said, even though we are a young team, we have we have a lot of you know experienced players um, for their age. So, um, yeah, I think um, we've got so much. You know, um, there's, there's been a big change as well with the staff and with with certain players. But I think. In, in the main, like the core is still there, and um, and the values and things like that are still there, and um, and I think now it's just about us um, putting the work in this week to to try and you know to try and get in the best possible place we can to to start this campaign well. Hi, Aaron. Congratulations. Thank um, you. Can you just give us a little insight into your conversations with Rob? When he sort of offered you the captaincy, sort of when it happened, and uh, and how he sold sort of team going forward. I, you know, he didn't have to sell me anything really, but um, you know, I was uh, I was just about to go out for some food with my wife at the time, and um, yeah, I had a call and I said, sorry, love, I'm gonna have to take this. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I took it, and um, yeah, he, he said then that he wanted me to be the captain. So obviously, um, yeah, that meal tasted a little better but um, yeah I think it was a very proud moment for me um, and I was just grateful to have that opportunity again to to take that um, to take that role up so 
you know, we have a, a lot of players in this team who are natural leaders and um, of course we're going to need every single player to, uh, to be able to, to do the things that we want to do and, and for them to bring their own leadership qualities as well. So, but for me to, to be given that opportunity from him, you know, is uh, a dream come true again. We got a glimpse, I suppose, maybe of the post Gareth Bale era in the Czech Republic uh, in the last qualifying campaign. When uh, is that the sort of Wales that Rob wants to produce now with yourself? Yeah, I think you know we um, we just want to um, you know progress again and 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 start um, you know start in the right way. Uh, we want to be a team who is attacking. We have a lot of pace in the team, a lot of um, you know fit young players. So yeah, we want to be um, on the front foot, and hopefully you know preparations go well this week, and we can take that into the first you know a couple of games in this campaign. Uh, there's been a bit of talk about Chris Gunter coming in as a coach. Uh, he's, uh, he's obviously doing his badges at the moment. <coughs> what could he bring to the the setup if if that is something that's being looked at? Yeah, I think yeah, he'll be. Absolutely brilliant for him if he if he's brought in. I think um, his knowledge, you know, his experience, um, the way that he you know conducts himself is has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, and you know he's a Welsh you know legend. He's uh, been through thick and thin with this Welsh team and um, always turned up, Mr. Reliable. And um, I think he has the respect of the whole team. Um, and definitely somebody who you can, you know, for the younger players to look up to, and and to have that link as well between the players and, and maybe the, the the staff. So yeah, I think it'd be a, a fantastic addition. And you and Wayne need some better company as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can't have too many going. <laughs> That's four, Lawrence. Yeah, that should be. Um, Ian, and then we'll go Gary Jacob on Zoom. Is it us? Yeah, Ian. Morning, Aaron. Congratulations first and foremost as well. Thank you. Uh, Talk about family there and how important they are getting you through the World Cup period and, and into now. How are they pleased to see that you're carrying on and they know that this is the right decision for you personally? Yeah, of course. Obviously, um, after the World Cup, I spent a lot of time with them. Um, and that was important for me to, to restart and um, sort of just switch off from football and, and, and to be a dad again and, and a husband for that little period of time. And you know, the club as well were fantastic with me and, and give me that extra bit of time off. But they're so important for me throughout my career. They've, um, you know, they've supported me and, and, and been there. So now I got to tell my boys as well that I'm going to be the captain of Wales, which, you know, they were very proud of. And my eldest especially, you know, um, was very excited and very happy for me. So, yeah, for, for them to be able to see, see that and experience that with me will be uh, very special. When you were coming to terms with it all, how important were those the four lads that have retired? I'm sure you still keep in touch because ultimately they weren't just teammates, they were friends as well. Uh, what did they have to say to you in terms of carrying on and taking the armband? Yeah, of course. Will, you know, we'll forever be uh, be in contact with each other. You know, we've created some lifetime memories together and. Um, and yeah, you know they've been very supportive and um, and obviously won the best for this Welsh team. So um, you know they they're going to enjoy it from a different perspective now, um, and hopefully we can give them you know more things to, to celebrate in the near future. Yeah. Gary, Jacob. I think um, that I'm. I'd be open to to any you know for any conversations for any younger players if they want to come up and ask me anything or want to understand things. I think um, you know I, I can also put an arm around somebody if if they need it. But no, for me it's just to to be myself and um, to um, to lead by example and 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 hopefully that that will show in the way that I play and the way that I you know. Um, handle myself around, you know, around the place and, and in certain situations. Are there any so many changes you may want to do to the squad that you might see from the outside, just to kind of make it slightly different, perhaps, to what's been previously you might do? 
Um, that's been, I think that's difficult. You know, we've created an environment here over the, you know, over the last eight years or so um, that is a very strong, tightly knit unit. And I think now it's important for us to keep the same values that we've had over over that period, um, and you know, tweak one or two things maybe, but in general keep them you know core values that we have which is which is you know what our success has been built on as well as that obviously you were there when this fantastic transition took place over gary and over cookie and then to roll where, where, where and obviously the team now the squad now is in transition where would you say this squad is in sort of in in the year of that other transition is it, it and sort of how long do you think or how long it would take to kind of get to where you were sort of approaching 14 and 16 what sort of pro where are you in that process do you think yeah I, I don't know but what I do know is that this squad has got a lot of quality in it it's got a lot of um, young players who have experienced you know tournament football and, and, and big big games in playoffs and things like that so um, this squad is definitely ready and uh, you've got some really exciting players who are playing at the top level um, and are doing really well. So for us now is about just, you know, getting to work this week and, and making sure the preparations are right for that first game because, you know, it's, we know how difficult that's going to be, but we all know how important it is to get off to good starts. Thanks, Rambo. Cheers, thank you. Just t <coughs> take a last couple from James Nursey. Hello, hi, Aaron, thank you for your time. Hi, you okay. Yeah, there's a there's you know Brennan obviously <clears throat> playing um, week in week out for for Forest and been scoring goals and you know he's he's a very exciting player um, um, at the top of his game at the moment. So yeah, obviously he's he's going to be key for us um, um, in in qualifying. Um, I think that we have other players, you know, younger players coming through. Luke Harris, you know, JJ. I think. You know, they they players who have been involved in the last you know camp and and shown what they're capable of doing in in training and things. You, know, you have uh, Ollie as well, who's coming through. So yeah, there's there's a load of um, young players who haven't haven't played for Wales yet, with a lot of uh, quality coming through. But also, we're young in general, and uh, there's a lot of players there with you know maybe 20, 30 caps, 40 caps already. So with a lot of experience now playing at this level, uh, who are still relatively young. Thank you. And just following on from that, my last question, you know, I'm sure you were asked by fans and stuff, how do you replace Gareth Bale? Is it possible to replace him with one player or is it going to be more of a collective sort of um, effort? I appreciate you've always been a unified team, but you see my point, you know, maybe you need to get the goals from lots of different places now. What's your take on that, please? Yeah, of course, I think, um, you know, we're not trying to replace Gareth, and that would be pretty difficult to to do that. You know, uh, when you have a player of that quality um, that we've been lucky to witness over the years, is uh, it's going to be very difficult to replace. So that won't be our intentions to do that. Um, uh, but our intentions are that we know what we've got, we know the quality of players that we've got in this team, and we're going to try and maximise to get the most out of them to help us and, and to build for for um, you know the future. Thanks James, Thank you Aaron, Thank you very much. Thank you guys.